complete combustion of decane. I don't even know where decane is found in the real world. But here you are, C10H22. We're gonna start with that reactant, C10H22. It's probably a liquid at room temperature. I'm just guessing. Combustion is the reaction of it with oxygen gas. Combustion always means plus O2 gas. Great. What do you get during combustion? The oxides of the stuff you started with. The oxide of carbon is carbon dioxide, CO2. Always for complete combustion, it's CO2. And the oxide of hydrogen is water, H2O. I'm gonna say it's a gas because when you burn things, they get hot, so it's probably steam. This is your unbalanced, complete combustion of decane. Done. It's the balancing that might, you know, do something fancy here. 10 carbons here, I need 10 carbons here. 22 hydrogens here, I'm gonna need 22 here. They already come in pairs for the H2O, so I'm only gonna need 11 of those packages. Now I'm down to my oxygens. I've got 10 times two is 20 oxygens contributed here and 11 is 31 total. Well, that sucks, because they come in pairs. I can just cheat and do 31 over two if I want to. <laughs> Some teachers will not let you use fractions, but I do, so there you go. If your teacher doesn't let you use fractions, your job is to double all these coefficients. This one becomes two. This 10 needs to become 20. This 11 becomes 22. And this 31 over two, when you double it, just gives you back the 31. So you'd need two, 31, 20, and 22 as your coefficients if you're not allowed to use fractions. But if you are, it's one. 31 over two, which is what, 15.5, 10, and 11. Doesn't matter to me which one you use, they're both technically balanced. What you came for is complete combustion, which is the reaction of oxygen with your reactant to make the common oxides of those things. Carbon dioxide, hydrogen oxide, AKA water. You don't get carbon monoxide or soot or anything because it's complete combustion. So you have to completely oxidize the carbon to get carbon dioxide. That's it, best of luck.